Give me your, as I let you go on with your good Friday, Levante David, your favorite uh, Tom Brady story. My favorite Tom yes, Brady story. Yes, from maybe his first year, his first arrival, yeah. any, anything. Yeah. What do you got for me? My, my favorite Tom Brady story, I believe he was 75 going to the bye week in 2020. Yes, sir. Before we made the run. I recall. And I remember uh, it was, you know, it was a little... We went on. We had like a two-game losing streak or a three-game losing streak. One of them, and then I remember during the bye week, me and Tom ran into each other, and he came to me. and He was like, "Trust me, we gonna turn this thing around. We're not gonna lose another game." And you know that kind of stood out to me. And uh, we didn't lose another game. We <laughs> went on winning the Super Bowl. Yeah, he was right. And uh, yeah, uh, I already had major a ton of respect for him right there. But the look, I seen his eyes. He was like no other, and uh, I, I knew it was gonna happen. And, uh, he took us there. Where was it? The supermarket? Were you just like in the proto <laughs> or no. you just ran into your carts connected and you know yeah. ran into each other? Or like where, no, where, we, where was it? We was in the facility. We was in the facility. Okay. We was in the facility. We ran each other in the hallway. I was walking out going to the players lounge and he was coming from somewhere and I saw him and we went to talking and he said that. I'm like, okay, I'm on my ride with you. And then and it didn't happen. Correct. And I remember because you guys <laughs> lost to Kansas City the team mm -hmm. who you eventually saw back in that building and yep. beat in that building for the Super Bowl, yeah. you lost. I mean, Tyree Kill had something like 200 yards receiving in the first quarter alone, yeah. and <laughs> and and that's the way that you guys went to seven and five. And and there was a general sense of well, well, that's the way the first year for Brady in Tampa is going to go. And yeah. so he, he he so uh, just one last strand to pull here. What made yeah. him say that? Do you think? What made him uh, say that to you? Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, the doubters, the doubters out there, you know, people was talking and mm -hmm. saying, you know, uh, I think it was Chatter saying, well, if we make it to the playoffs, we'll lose in the first round or we better get it together and and, and things like that. But uh, I'm sure, you know, it was in the back of his mind and then obviously it was in the back of mine. But uh, I knew eventually, you know, we was going to turn around. All we needed was, a, you know, a little spark and uh, we got it from somewhere. Maybe it was that that, that conversation it was from him. And uh, everything just turned around. Everybody came back ready to go, and everything just clicked. Everything was just going our way. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.